everybody, my name is Christian Aldo and welcome to this edition of the Plastic General Workshop. This is not a normal Plastic General episode. These are the episodes where I give insights and in making uh, custom projects and like, like really cool how to do ideas and stuff like that. And I got a really great episode for you today. I'm going to be transforming this very silly early 1970s Fisher Price castle into like a, a 132 scale World War II Gestapo headquarters that's realistic and really fun to play with with your uh, 132 scale toy soldiers. So, that being said, um, I think we should uh, take a tour around this thing. So, let's get started. It's, it's super crazy hot. Okay, so when, when starting a project like this, you should have a strong idea of, of what it is you're gonna be doing and uh, you're gonna watch me do it step by step and I'm gonna try to cut this so it goes really fast. So these things were made in the early 70s. Uh, you can pick them up on eBay and stuff like that. You'll find them around. So the first thing I wanna do is cover this in a, in a realistic, in a realistic like sort of like rock sort of relief type thing. Uh, this is for a very famous toy soldier collector here in Toronto by the name of Dan. Dan, um, oh yeah, his name is supposed to remain secret, so I can't tell any more than that. Anyway, um, Dan T. So you guys know who he really is. Okay, so we're going to cover the raw, cover this thing in stone. Um, this little tab here, I'm going to get rid of this little finger tab, but this is kind of like a cool little feature. I'll make it look like there's some water in the moat here. Um, the, the silly, the silly drawbridge, I'm just going to leave it down and have sentries out front. This thing will be realistically painted, by the way. Um, this is really cool. This is a great place for, uh, commandos to try to enter. And, and there's a neat little trap door, so they'll be able to come in and out, maybe. That's how they'll storm this, this, uh, castle. They'll be like partisans or something, French partisans. Okay, so let's enter the castle. I think in here, I'm gonna try to like make this like a, uh, a Gestapo interrogation room. Like like they would put have like a chair like to put the French, uh, what do you call them, uh, partisans to interrogate them. Uh, this thing, this silly staircase, this silly, this is ridiculous. It must go, that's gotta go. Uh, in this room here, We'll have like, it'll be like this, 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 this Nazi baron that will be like the owner of this castle. We're going to make this into like a really cool dining area with like a portrait of Hitler over the fireplace and like with a dining room table and chandeliers and stuff. And also the door still opens and closes. That's where the door opens and closes here. Um, what else? Uh, uh, up here will be like a community, uh, up here. Up here will be like a communications area, of course, like in a James Bond film, but not as ostentatious as my other project. And uh, there'll be soldiers' barracks. And then on the on the top, uh, this penis thing, this dildo, whatever this is, this has got to go. Uh, this can stay. Oh, and this circular area here, I'm going to elevate this a little bit because I'm going to put a German uh, 20 millimeter quad anti-aircraft gun on top here for defense in case the, the castle, ca uh, castle Baron Wolf, Wolf Baron Castle gets attacked. And um, it's gonna be awesome, man. So over the next 20 minutes, you're gonna see me transform this into something you will desire. And by the way, if any of you guys have any of these, I will transform it. The Plastic General, me, I will transform this for you. So let's get started. Watch, if I do this, that means cut. So, so let's get started. Cut! Okay guys, so the first thing I have to do is get rid of the, uh, the offending appendage. So with these, here we go. Get in there. Oh, it's coming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I rooted it out like a bad tooth. Okay, so before we get started on the bricking, you got to take some sandpaper and just sand down some of that goofy bright green, I mean that goofy Fisher Price plastic so that this acrylic concoction that I made, so that this acrylic concoction that I made uh, will stick nicely. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is uh, we're going to 
uh, start taking some of this goop and covering all of the brick, this cheesy, corny brick area. Okay, because we're going to be covering all that in, in, in these denim bricks. You will see in two seconds. So cover all this. Goo. Put the goo all over. Goop it up. It doesn't matter. It'll all be blasted anyway, sprayed. Okay, so now it's covered in the goo. Okay, and so what I like to do is I take denim. 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 Why denim? Why you ask? It's because, I don't know. It's just it's a good cotton material okay so then you cover you cover this completely in denim cover it in denim okay so and then now watch I take this and I chop this up in little brick, brick type pieces like this like I cut it up and watch watch this so like bricks Little bricks, the rocks, just like they would have when constructing this thing. And so on here, so like I would do, I would do that, right? And let it just stay. And then the next rock underneath it would be like this. Someday, my princess will come. We will live inside a Fisher Price castle because the Baron von Wolfberg has left it in his will. And now it shall be the Plastic General Corporation's headquarters. No, you're not seeing double. I've decided I'm working on two of these projects at once. This, this one over here is for my friend slash client. And then this one is going to be the one I'm doing for me. So I'm going to go crazy and be really creative with this one. And then I'm going to make the video of this one. And then when my friend or any of you guys want it done for yourself, you'll see what you like and uh, what you don't like. And, and that's what I'll customize. So let's take a look at where we're at right now and what I'm going to do. What I did is I, I did all the relief all the way around like you saw. Um... And da, 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 that's the, so, yeah, so I, I have all the exterior done of all the sculpting that I want. And so what I'm going to do, uh, this is my buddy's one, but uh, it's a little further along, but this is what I'm going to do. Mine doesn't have this ramp, so I'm going to have to sculpt the ramp. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to build a door here. And, and because I have these amazingly tiny little hinges, I'm going to be able to uh, make the doors open and close. I'm going to use the same technique and, and sculpt a really gr epic fireplace and, um, and, and then the, the portrait of the Fuhrer above. And, uh, and then I'm going to do something really cool. Okay, so I just built the little fireplace, so let's take a look. The fireplace is sculpted and uh, we'll see what comes next. I removed this silly little door because uh, now it's going to be like a gatehouse. And then what I did is I took paper and I made the patterns so I could fit in exactly what I was going to do. Then I cut it out of wood. So um, first of all, what I did is uh, I made the, the built up walk up area. I cut that out of wood and I ground that in. Then um, also I, uh, Use those tiny hinges so uh, so the door will work. So that's going to fit in there nice and tight. Look how tight that is. Tight! And so now, when you're walking up, you can... Oh, 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 the sentry will be there. And welcome to the castle. Oh, how do you open the door? Oh, there, the door opens. Yay! Somebody's at the door! Answer it! Yes, there is a lady here at the door. I think it's the potential governess for the children. Uh-oh. The door opens. Oh, yes. 
Governess, please come inside. I'm here for the job to discipline the children. Yes, please come inside. Uh, don't mind the renovations. Quite a mess right now. Um, you know, the long cold nights are wonderful making marshmallows with uh, the children. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure it will be a very, very nice position. Yes, hopefully we will have many positions. I mean, you, you will fill the position. I, yes, I, I'll fill the position. Yes. And this is, is where I'm hoping will be the children's room. And soon that little wooden door shall be your room. Ah. Yes, and it shall be attached to my room. <laughs> uh, here, Baron. Where are the children? Well, there are no children yet. We're going to make them. <laughs> well, my most beautiful Fräulein, will you accept my most generous offer? Become my lover and the future mother of my children. Here, Baron, I am so sorry, but I must decline. Decline? Why? Because you are too old and fat and ugly. What? Who's calling who ugly? Look at that fucking gray face. Who would ever want to marry you? Ha! Huh. At least I don't live in some shitless Fisher Price castle in the middle of nowhere. You're a nobody. Besides, your name is Heathcliff. I could never marry anyone named Heathcliff. No! Okay, so I applied all the masonry to the walls, and uh, that'll be the the uh, spiral staircase. That's just gonna be a black door, like. And then uh, down here, applied a little bit more. Oh, and there in the communications room. Oh, and there's the Baron. A uh, Baron, I've just uh, finished your sculpting your your door. So what do you think? I don't like it. It looks too gothic. Okay, this thing is primed all white. It's got a nice enamel cover all over it. Now it's time to paint it gray because it looks like a White Castle hamburger joint. We want to get away from that. So I'm going to go with like a darker gray and I'm going to do the whole thing like that, interior and exterior, and then we can go from there. Shoot the decorator! Okay, as you can see, I've completely and utterly painted this thing in like a dark gray. And that's what we're going to start off with. I, I turned it upside down and I looked at every single angle to make sure there were no spots left. So now that we have a dark coat, now we can dry brush like a lighter gray all over the masonry and all that stuff. And start adding uh, lighter colors. Got to make sure the doors don't uh, get stuck, but you know, it works now. All right, next step. It's time for me to make this incredibly evil looking castle look more like a nice castle. So let's just dry brush the whole, all the masonry, you know, dry brush it all the way around. After, after you get the whole thing basically dry brushed gray and maybe dry brush some uh, brown on there, you can take like a lighter version of gray and just uh, accent various areas. Don't get too technical with it. This isn't supposed to be some really neat little project where everything is perfect. Don't stress yourself out. It, it sh this thing could be done in five minutes, man. Just, you know, have fun. Look at this. Look at the relief coming off Fisher Price. That's kind of funny. So I, I kind of want to leave that on there. Just it's my little, it's my fun little joke that it's Fisher Price. And then like, like right here, 
you can dry brush that a little bit lighter because that's like a trimming around the the guardhouse sentry doorway I'll do the same thing here easy breezy uh, this sliding door here is a little bit of a problem uh, it's like a yellow plastic that paint doesn't want to stick to so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that a little bit later maybe I'll just spray paint it with like a with something else so here we go with the with the Juliet balcony and maybe, oh in here look how fast that goes okay so for the next step you just uh, take some black paint and you water it down it creates a, a wash and so what you do is you go in between the rocks and just give it a uh, just create like some shadow by quickly painting you don't have to stay too close to the lines because when it dries it sort of gets a little more transparent but just it gives those nice it gives those nice accents like look at the bricks here now they stand out more look at the ones on the floor everything starts to get more shadows and I'm gonna have to do something with this so-called hardwood floor oh look how the living room's turning out look at the portrait of the Baron well this uh, castle is getting further and further along um, so uh, let's uh, see if the Baron approves of this castle what do you think, uh, Mr. Baron? Oh, I think I like it. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's take a tour inside here. Get in there. Get in there. He's drunk. What's going on? Get in there. Okay. Um, and there's the guard, the guard house. See, look at the nice uh, contrast. So this will be a great section for commandos. Now, look at this. Ah, nice. Uh, doing the fireplace, I got some inspiration at the last second to cut that hole away. Um, I'm almost sorry I did, but I once I started, I had to keep going. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, and this is the uh, this will be the that'll be the communications room. So I have to build a communications table with a radio and a guy sitting at the radio for for that room here. And then uh, this is going to be oh, there's the Baroness's room. Not the Baroness, the um, the uh, the governess. She, there are no since there are no children to govern. She is going to beat people that are insubordinate, or maybe it's just an S and M room. I don't know. And then uh, up on the upper floors here, um, you know, things have come along pretty nicely. And then up on the decks here. Oh, I gotta make barracks in for this area here. Got to make some barracks in here and uh, some supplies and stuff for the troops. Why is this not being in focus? And then up here, I'm going to have like ammunition uh, for the anti-aircraft guns. And so I got to build this stuff, man. Oh, let's see what we can see from here. Ooh, cool. Look at that. There's the Baron. There's the, um, the governess and her victim. Okay, I've been a busy boy while I've been away, and I've made some accessories to, um, to sort of spice up the castle. So here they are. Okay, the first one would be the interrogation rack. I just made it out of wood and used a little bit of glue gun to glue it together. Glue gun's the best way to go, man, for wood. It just puts things together so quickly. And then uh, here I made a rifle rack. Let's get that in focus. Rifle racks, got some Mausers on there and some ammunition things. Some spare parts from 21st century toys glued on there. Uh, then um, uh, for the barracks, let's get this out of the way. Uh, bunk beds. Some quick bunk beds. Oh, okay. He's bad at a, he's had a bad night. A little communications table with some total BS equipment. But look, this is what it will look like. You know, you get the guy. You know, one of the first products a plastic journal is going to make 
is things like this, like things that people need for like cool setups, like the communications guy. And then last but not least, just a little food table for the, for the barracks. You remember some of those accessories from Forces of Valor. And you know, when you're making these accessories, uh, just, you know, you need one of these rubber mats and then you just like use thin wood, the thin junky wood, these you find it around for everything and, and maybe some thicker wood. The trick is use a glue gun and, and use an expensive glue gun. Um, and then of course, the good old fashioned X-Acto blade. And that's, that's pretty much it. And look at all the goodies that you can make with using this kind of stuff. It's worth it. Are you ready? The big moment is here. May I present to you my Fisher Price Gestapo Castle. Man, this was a tedious week, like doing all the details and, and, and like, you know, filming it as you're going along, but I needed to get this thing done. And now that it's done, let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the castle. Um, I thought the, the exterior turned out really nice and uh, I filled it up with figures. So let's take a nice close look. You have the, uh, the sort of like the German police guard, they're guarding the, the front door. And this is, uh, this is the sort of gatehouse. It's where the uh, guards would hang out. And uh, I've turned this thing, instead of having it a moat, it's now it's a pit. And, uh, you know, good for mortar teams and stuff. And then this is a neat little accessory from 21st Century Toys. It's a neat little guardhouse. And we can go around here. Um, this is a really cool figure. He's from the penal set by Hanomac. He's sort of chained to his post. I guess he's being punished. That's why he's down here in the sewer on guard. And let's go up here. We got more awesome, cool, interesting Hanomac figures. Uh, and of course, a quad 20 millimeter from 21st Century Toys. Another cool Hanomac figure. Um, it's a guy filming. Very cool, very useful for like fun play setups. And the rest of the figures, of course, are by, are by Plastic Platoon. And then in the attic, uh, sort of, uh, uh, a sort of like shed on top. Uh, obviously, there'd be supplies for the anti-aircraft gun. Now let's go way down into the the little dining room area. Carl and Klaus are enjoying some enjoying some Wiener Schnitzels and sauerkrauts for breakfast, and 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 Wolf. Christian and Wolf are sleeping in their bunk beds that I made and uh, no one's bothered to clean their weapons that are there. Look at the nice little Juliet balcony. And let's uh, make our way down into the main sort of, uh, main sort of living room or, or sort of like receiving room. You have, um, you have the Baron admiring his portrait up there. Look at that. And uh, the fire is made from a tea light, and the, the and the and the grandfather clock was from 21st century toy. I uh, know from Forces of Valor. Oh, I love this! Look at this room. It's the communications uh, room. Come in, Berlin. Get in focus, Jesus. Come in, Berlin. Message directly from the Fuhrer. He wants his castle back. And last but not least, uh, this is a bit of an interrogation tower. And of course, the, um, the governess is now the baroness. She did, I guess, accept his proposal. Now she gets to torture well-dressed Frenchmen. And uh, she loves her position. Maybe he does too. So, vroom, bum, 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 bum. There it is, the Fisher Price. And you can do this too, guys. And if not, you can pay me to do it! The Plastic General needs the money! So, uh, there you have it, the Fisher Price Gestapo Castle by the Plastic General. <laughs> so that's all, folks. 
If you've enjoyed the episode, if you like the Plastic Jumble, please remember to hit subscribe. I know that a large percentage of you guys are not subscribing. Remember, the more people that subscribe to the show, the show builds and and YouTube treats me better. I want to be able to do this full time, guys. I want to really make the most of it. If you love the show, also, you know, support the show on Patreon. Two bucks a month, three bucks a month. That keeps the show alive. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, guys, this is the big one, man. I, this year, for the first time ever, I'm gonna go to the big Chicago Toy Soldier show this September. I think September 25th, something like that. I'm gonna be there, man, and I'm bringing lots of little business cards. I wanna meet all you guys, because, you know, because I love my hobby, and and uh, I, I wanna meet all the uh, the supporters and fans of the show. It's my great honor to, to meet all you guys. So, I would love to see you guys there. Uh, what else? Um, that's it, man. Long live 132 World War II. My name is Christian Aldo. And I'm the Plastic General. Till next time. Schnitzel!